So anyway, that's the plan. Next month, we've harvested everything that can be harvested. So we probably won't be... Um, there we go. Um, we probably won't be doing too much more in the way of uh, harvesting next month. Might go look at the corn, but uh, I think we have to wait till early fall before we can do that. So sheep are fed, doglings fed, doglings gone missing. Oh, clover, we're gonna have clover cuts as well. Uh, these fields we just did let's go to growth these fields we just did that didn't germinate that's sad this oh, that's potatoes this is further along so sometime in late summer this should be ready to cut again um, hopefully last day of late summer we'll get to cutting this and hopefully it will be dry enough I guess we can check that hopefully it will be dry enough that it's not going to rain um, so today Wednesday is I don't even know okay we're moving into late summer so late summer it's going to rain in the morning and in the evening late summer late summer So potentially, Thursday, Friday in late summer, we might have some clover to cut, and I will try and make some hay out of it. Uh, we got a ton of clover in the lower field, and if we get to cut in fall, that's the best time to do clover, or that's the best time to do silage. Um, primarily, be, you know, in real life, because farmers are looking at it and saying, I need this for my winter feed. Um, for us, it's wet weather it's just easier to um, cut and wrap rather than uh, try and dry it out to make hay um, it's going to rain this is the start of fall so Saturday is it the start of fall today, Wednesday, Thursday Friday. yeah, so fall first day is rain second day bright sunshine and quite warm so that may be when we end up harvesting our sunflowers and then uh, cloudy so we've got a good start 70% chance of rain here 90% 70% so we do have some bad weather coming but for right now I think the world is good I don't believe I've forgotten to do anything So, we can move on to tomorrow. And maybe the day after. Okay, I'm going to sleep late, I think. Go through to 9 o'clock. Oh, vehicle running costs, property maintenance, gonna rain, it is raining. Stop draining, crops are wet. Actually, I should probably stay up here and see what needs to be done. So, not ready to harvest. Um, somebody's doing something. It's been cultivated. What the heck? That's strange. Okay, all of these fields have been cultivated. So, good time to think about buying new fields. That's a thing. Um, we have 200,000. Uh, that's 186. That's half a million. That's a million. That's awkward because it's got a pathway across it probably not going to go anywhere near that particular field. We've got two over here. 19. 
I'm a big fan of this one for doing contracts in it. And that one's even bigger, half a million, 600,000. We could afford, I think, any one of these which we just park Clover in. This one... Um, can't afford it. These the, the problem with these now is you have to come in from that side, so that's a long drive to get around to those fields. That's why I'm trying to concentrate on over here, because the sawmill there, there's a direct access across from the sawmill to this block of fields. That might I'm strongly considering that one as a as supplementary a supplemental arable field, although that one's bigger. But I don't have the cash for it right now. But since they're um, they're um, what is it? Getting them ready for stuff. Um, it's good because I don't have to rely on what some other farmer puts in there. So sheep need things. I could run round now. I could run round at the end of the day. Okay, let's work that one, that angle. So we'll run through till about four o'clock in the afternoon. We'll go feed the sheep. And then we'll skip through to the next day. Crops just dried out. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. Um, so yeah, he just planted that. That's harvested. That is currently being harvested. That's ready to harvest. This is ready to So we can do a clover cut. I'll do that tomorrow. Um, 17 is ready to harvest. Interesting. It's green. Yes. It's not clover, is it? It's alfalfa. Yeah. So the alfalfa over there is ready to cut. Our clover's ready, so good. Um, so sheep food. Let's let's do the sheep fooding thing. Uh, we are facing up the lane, so I actually want to do this side first. Of course, I can't remember which field this one is. So what we'll do. So we'll grab the sugar beets, and this will top off the sugar beet trough, or the sugar beet requirement, should I say, and leave some left in the tub. So now I know which field I'm working on when I look here. Bramble wood. We need a lot of clover silage. Good. So this will take a full bale. And it won't take a full. Yeah, there's there's no way we'll fit another full bale there. Clover hay we can put in. It, they don't eat a lot of it, so it's a good thing. Oops. I'll just chuck it about a bit, and that sucked a bit out. Put this down. Just there's fine. Okay, so they short clover silage, they have more than 50%. They'll want some more in the morning. Elm, they need sugar beets. Um, might get away with some clover silage in there. Clover hay, no, we can. We don't have to, that's the thing. Fill. Fill. Let's have a look at that one again. Yeah, they need sugar beets, so we are going to. Uh, Feed them if I can find my way around there. So I just need to do the sugar beets here. If I have any, oh, yeah, we've got a full tank. That's good. Uh, 
that's the incredible thing. Potential harvest quantity, 333,500 litres. That's serious amounts of grass that I am not cutting. Which is quite crazy. Okay, and now we're at Oakfield Farm. Uh, they need sugar beets. They need to be almost drained of uh, silage before you try and fill them. So just grab the sugar beets here. And we'll drop that one in the turf. So how do these look? These look fairly well. Actually, you know what? Since we have so many partial crates of sugar beets, I'm not too fussed about topping that off completely. Okay, they're done. We'll top off the water and we will at least sleep until tomorrow. There we go, water. And oh, dog's already fed. He hasn't met what we left there yesterday. And that's pretty much a day. <laughs> I like days like that. They're good. Um, it's probably yeah. It's too early, and it's going to rain at six anyway. So we will just cycle through until it gets dark. Let's go too far. Oh, all machines and tools from CSC are on sale. Well, that's possibly worth a look. Um, adapter, 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 adapter. I mean, I really don't need any of these things, I don't think. I mean, I've got, basically, I've got pallet forks for the equipment I need them for. I've got bale forks that I need them for. And then most of the other stuff, we we wouldn't use it if I had it. So, nice sale, not interested. And here comes the rain again. So since it's getting dark now again, I think we can sleep through to 9 o'clock. The only thing I have to do now tomorrow is clover and it needs to be dry so that we can uh, ted it and bale it. And... Oh, what's a Kemper 350... 390? When it's at home. Oh! 10% off! Um, something that forages pretty much everything. I'm not planning to buy a forage harvester, just use one, so that's a thing. Anyway, let's, let's kind of assemble our grass cutting kit. We probably won't, well, the ground's still wet, so I'm not going to start this task today, plus it's midday, and I have errands to run, so what we will do here, jump in the challenger. And good morning to you. I need to drop the weight off in the corner here. Oops. I need to crash into the wall, why not? Okay. Of course. Oh, where do we keep the mowers? I, th I think they're in the bottom. How are we doing? Oh, let's uh, not drive off too quickly. I mean, this tractor probably has a couple of days worth of fuel in it, but it doesn't hurt to top it off now. Just 
still got a collection of icon over there. I don't really need it, I don't think, anymore. So this thing I used to leave in the top shed with the wrapper and the baler. But unfortunately it's, it's a little bit tight getting a tractor this size between between the shed railing or the shed supports. I mean the, these shed supports very wide. Um, the top shed it's just too narrow. One it's too narrow and two it's um, we don't have the space in front of us to manoeuvre a big tractor with a front mower in and out of it. So it just got awkward. I, I had to unload, or I had to fetch the equipment with the JCB because it's got the four wheel steering and then unattach it, attach it to the tractor that was actually going to use the kit. And that can just get annoying at times. So. Anyway, that's our uh, mowing setup done. And they're all about 70% so they're fine as well. So yeah, that's the mowing setup. Very nice. Okay, what else do we need? We're going to turn off the windrow. We're going to need everything. So what am I going to put on this? Let's go with the tether next. Which I believe is in here. Uh, that looks like a good tether, yes. As you can see here, this is very, very tight. Um, and not something that is easy to do with the class or the challenger. And then when you consider the shed across the way, it's even worse. Okay. So that's the case. I'm thinking about it, I should probably have put the JCB because it's a slightly lower horsepower than this on the tether. Because then we want the windrower. I think I've got quite a big windrower. We only ever use it once a year when we're making hay. I think it's down here because it, it's a big one. So, uh, It's a big one. And I think it has one of these wandering equipment issues, which is why it's wedged into the corner there, because it floats. Okay, JCB with the windrower. In the past I have attempted to run the baler on the case and the case is really not happy on a lot of our fields. So we kind of resigned to using the class.
this is fully fueled. I didn't check the, uh, the two small attractors for fuel. We're only doing the one field, so it shouldn't be a problem. But I have had issues with the JCB when doing a full day of uh, harvesting. It's, it has run out of fuel a couple of times, so... Stop! Okay, so there we are, we have the class on the class, I forgot to turn the JCB off, yeah it's, it's got two thirds of a tank, that's fine. Um, this one, three quarters of a tank and that one we just filled up. So this is our task for tomorrow, or to next stream, so tomorrow's stream we will be making hay while the sun shines. Um, actually, not immediately, because we're not going to get hay out of whatever we're getting. Actually, that wasn't what I wanted to do. Jump over here. So, what have we got going on? Um, check everything, just to make sure. So, that's ready to harvest. That's still in a growth state. I expect that to be ready in early spring, early fall. We might get another cut late fall for that, which is nice. Three cuts of clover is a bonus. Um, all of these late growth stages, yeah, kind of expected. Potatoes there. Um, we still have stuff to sell. Barley, canola, triticale, and the other thing, um, spelt what we just harvested um, and these are all in the 500s we should get a much better price closer to 700 on those um, let's need to top up of sugar beets and water they have no grass silage this is oak field farm sheep let's, let's take care of that before we start getting distracted oh. going to need to bring a clover bale up here. I think they'll take all of it. Yes. Actually, they take more than all of it. They're getting big boys and girls. Well, big girls. Um, they're still not fertile. Um, I think I would have to go and find number 501. Yeah, maybe 530. So not fertile. So these, these girls aren't going to be producing any new sheeps this year that we expect. Um, there's 502, yeah, not even close. So, they may mature before uh, winter, in which case we might get some sheep out of this field. These two fields, we're gonna get everything. So, elm flower, bramble wood. I think bramble wood's the close one. They both need silage, so we'll both drop those in. We'll go and drop some clover hay in one of them. And everything's fine. Everything is awesome. Um, actually, let's uh, beam down to here. Again, wrong field. And the problem is, this is the end of the clover silage that we have available to us right now. Um, we're not, we're still, I think we're still brewing our last cut. Oh, I throw it like a girl. There we go. Grab those. We'll top those off so I can tell the difference. That's nearly empty. So next time we come out, we're going to have to come out with clover silage and um, sugar beets. Uh, we are in. I would guess we're in that field, so that's not the one that needs clover hay. Really? What's the other one? 
it's the other one. So I'll put that next to that. So either later today or tomorrow morning we'll run out and uh, bring the clover silage and sugar beets. I hope I've got a clover bale, a clover silage bale here. Yes, we do. And a clover hay. That's not all of it. So that should They've got all the hay, they've got more than a day's worth of silage, and how's about we uh, get rid of a lot of that? Okay, sheep are cared for. Um, anything else we need to do? All of the fields have been thinged that need to be thinged. These are now growing, I could go and look at them. Except it's not easy. Actually, it's easy. Ah, uh, no, I can't tell from there. So, looking over there, in that general direction, that triangular field is not covered in. Uh, what it's supposed to be covered in. Um, the really vile green thing. So that's not growing yet. Not not big not a big hurry on that. As I said, we can't plant anything and for another two days. So I think this will be the end of Chris uh, New Year's Eve stream. Um, and tomorrow, New, New Year's Day, we will be streaming again with some more from Oakfield Farm. And we'll be starting off with these guys going out when the ground dries, when the clover dries, um, to make some hay. Uh, so we have some more food on hand for our sheep. But for right now, I wish you all a happy New Year. And I am out of here. Have fun, everybody.